uh, Grovers are putting up their Christmas decorations. Uh, and Piper, of course, sees someone on the ladder and goes all barky. Because she's a boy. Piper, knock it off. Uh. Out walking the dogs again today. It's a gorgeous day. I mean, from all the rain that we had and then the uh, fog this morning. This is turning out to be really, really nice. So I'm walking down to the end of end of the road down here. There's a, uh, a dead end and a sort of a... It's not a cul-de-sac. It is a uh, end of road. Oh, and here's somebody coming in the truck. Let's get off the road. Got the good poopies. Um, oh! Piper. <laughs> the piper got tangled in the leash. Okay, she does that. Uh, hmm. There's this end of road thing down here. I kind of want to show you. Um, where we're where we're at, uh, I think if you saw my my uh, video earlier of the uh, northernmost point of the Mississippi, technically it wasn't the northernmost point. It's it's actually a little bit down the road further, but it's so close as to be not quite there. And if I can come over here and kind of give you an idea, um, see if I can zoom in here. Oh, that's that's tight. Let's set it up there. And if you can see, there's a power pole and it's sticking up over there. I think if you can see it, I don't know, it's kind of tough to tell. But that's where I was parked and shot that video. That's, uh, I'll just kind of give you an idea of the geography of where I am. I'm not technically at the northernmost point, but it's close enough. Um, this is technically Bemidji, yeah, the city of, the city uh, brings the boundaries out to here. They don't go into the river, which is probably good because parking would be a bitch. Uh, I don't think the river freezes over. Parts of it do. You know, the really shallow parts that don't have a lot of current flowing. Uh, they probably freeze solid, I guess. I guess I'll find out. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. It's a, is actually solid enough. Maybe I'll take the dogs out onto the onto the ice and they can romp and frolic. I don't know. We'll see. I really don't want to have Piper in that water. It's it's gross. <laughs> I went swimming in it once. Once. I came out smelling like a, a rotted salad. I mean, the, the main channel here was not very deep. I think it was less than six feet when I went in. Uh, oh, okay. I'm still way focused on money. Yeah, we'll do this. Bring it down to the wide angle. Mom's place up there. The dogs are uh, pulling me. Because they want to go. They want to go. I think Piper wants to go see if there's deer again. I doubt that there will be, but, you know, let's go sniff stuff. Mom had a kind of a tough episode earlier. She woke up. She wasn't feeling very good. Uh, kind of like her. She was a little nauseous. I think the going outside yesterday had something to do with it because uh, that was the first time she's been outside and... You know, in the house, there's the air cleaner and the air filter, and we're doing really well to try and keep allergies and things down because we want to make sure that she can breathe okay. And I suspect that going outside yesterday, even though that it had been raining, 
and not a lot of dust was in the air, that there was enough to cause some issues today. And uh, I just went up to, uh, I had made lunch for her, some chicken and uh, mashed potatoes. I started making these mashed potato patties because we have a lot of potato leftovers that are just, I mean, they're just the potatoes. Uh, so I had added a little bit of butter into them and then made patties, kind of like hamburger patties, and they're holding together really well. And then take those and fry them. And they come out really nice. And there was some leftover chicken. I added some spaghetti sauce to that. She likes spaghetti sauce. And then uh, made a little bit of uh, a little bit of lefse. She's not normally a big fan of lefse, but I tend to like it. <laughs> I know, you know, the whole Scandinavian thing. Well, my uh, she's not. She's not from the Scandinavian roots. You know, she's more East Coast, uh, British, and uh, uh, she crabbin and scrapple. <laughs> uh, but you know, a little bit of a, a sweet, tasty thing is pretty good. Uh, some grapes, and she ate it all. Wasn't particularly, uh, wasn't particularly hungry, she said, but she ate the whole thing. So, uh, but then I went up, took a little break, and uh, went up and checked on her, and she was having some bad intestinal pains. Uh, well, it was, it was gas. But, you know, her, her, uh, her ability to fart is a little compromised because, you know, she's old and frail. But, you know, when she does, she lets me know. I guess it's better than the other way around. Uh, did some cleaning in her, in her bathroom. You know, added some toilet cleaner. Uh, reasonable things. Uh, cleaning up bits and pieces. She has a large variety of things that she saved that are useful that she will never use. Plastic containers, not like I don't do the same thing. Uh, glass spaghetti jars. I mean, I thought, who in the hell needs 10 glass spaghetti jars? But she ends up using them for storing salad stuff in the refrigerator. Apparently it holds better. Stays more, uh, whoop, stays more, stays fresher, longer in glass. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh, and there's a dog. And they want to go, they want to go investigate the dog. All right, we're going to go down this road just a little ways. This is called Piper Drive, by the way. It was kind of neat. Piper does not drive. Which is a good thing because she would be uh, off the road a lot. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> <laughs> 